Hey guys, it is just before one o'clock on Sunday afternoon, August 8th. We are headed out in the car, obviously. Um, we both have been doing so much walking this last year. We've worn out our pair of shoes uh, that we both wear. Um, we bought them about a year and a half ago. I think we bought them right before COVID started. My shoes are horrible, his aren't far behind. So we're gonna actually head out to the store to go get some new uh, walking shoes. I have custom orthotics in my shoes. So I'm hoping they have something that will work well enough so I don't have to go try to find a new podiatrist because I had surgery on both my feet, but that was like 12 years ago and another state ago. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna go see what we can find and maybe go for a drive or something. We'll take you with us if we can. We'll be back. It's 10.51 a.m. or so, uh, Monday, August 9th. I just got done editing the vlog and it is rendered and it is loading to YouTube and scheduled for Wednesday morning. I still have to write the weekly posts and where are we? there we go. We're gonna start filming um, some stuff today. I'm gonna start with the paid for class that I'm doing with Bea and Mike Deacon. Um, but I've got mission inspirations to film. I've got mid-month mini missions to film stuff and stuff and more stuff. So anyway, I'm going to try to get some of it done today and we'll see how far I get. And that's all we can do. I'll be back. So I got the class filmed um, that I am gonna be teaching with Mike Deacon and Bea Grob and a couple other people. Um, and it is in the can, so to speak. I haven't edited a thing, but all of it's on the camera. So I'm gonna pull the SD card out just in case I don't want anything to go wrong. Um, I will say though, I did the page in this journal, which you've all have seen numerous times on my channel. We busted open and enlarged the spine. It's getting really hard to work in the last few pages and I've got to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to. I think we're going to call it good. There's a few pages here at the back. Um, I think I'm going to tear them out, um, at least partly. And I think we're going to call it good. And I think we're going to prep a new journal. So why don't we do that? I'll be back. Guys, we're out trying to get some steps in. Uh, I not only got the class filmed that I'm doing, uh, my part of it with Bea and Mike, uh, I have to edit it still, but it's filmed. I got that journal finished, started a new one, and got the 2022 house calendar all prepped and ready to go. We're ready for the new year. I know it's only August, but you know, I have one more to do that I carry in my wallet, um, but I'll um, work on that later. We're gonna go get steps in right now. 
I've been working on thank you notes and paperwork and the calendar and the class and like all kinds of stuff all day today. Laundry. I'm gonna go get steps in now because I think I need to. I do think I got the glue out of my hair, maybe. That's another story. You don't want to know. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's 10.22 a.m. Tuesday, August 10th, I think. Anyway, I usually am in a Patreon and supporter live on Tuesday mornings at this time, but everybody's busy. <laughs> or it's too hot, or people were are without power. Like it was just the perfect storm where like nobody could get on, so that's fine. Um, my mother's memorial is on Saturday. There's a lot to do between now and then. I'm trying really hard not to go to the store anymore, but it's, life is just not working out that way. So anyway. Okay guys, surprised myself. I got caught up on all of my mission inspirations for uh, the prompts for that Facebook group. Videos will be coming soon. If I remember to turn the camera on correctly, we'll find out. I don't know, but the pages are done. Um, also, the mid-month mini mission for July is done, all of which I was behind on because of what was going on with my mom and my parents. Anyway, it's done now, along with the class I'm teaching with Big Rob and Mike Deacon and a couple other people. So that's not the mailbox key. Uh, so it's all done and in the camera. And I am expecting family to start showing up tomorrow evening, but not until evening. So I may start the editing process tomorrow. If I can get them all edited and loaded before anybody shows up at my house, I'm ahead of the game. That would be cool. And we'll probably also try to do my daily practice pages ahead of time. Um, because as we get closer to Saturday, which is my mom's memorial, and Monday, which is the day I go help clean out my dad's house, um, it's, I'm going to be short on time, so... Yeah, anyway. <sighs> All right, hey guys, it is, what time is it? Uh, 9.52 a.m. I have a meeting, I think, in a few minutes with Bea Grob and Mike Deacon uh, about the class that we're teaching together and some upcoming YouTube collaborations. Um, so yeah, so that's coming up this morning. I also decided to do a second option for what I create Let's see if I can do this without re re releasing any details. I decided to do a second option for my idea inspired by the prompt for the upcoming class that we're teaching. So I'm teaching two different ideas and wa ways to take the prompt in your art journal. Because lately when I do these kind of teaching classes, I can't seem to do just one. Like ever. This is not a thing. Anyway. My sister is coming into town from Utah tonight. She's driving over um, in preparation for my mom's memorial service on Saturday. So I wanted to get everything filmed if I could um, by today. And if I can this afternoon, I'll start the editing process, but mostly I just wanted to get everything filmed. I'm just straightening some things. See? Um, that way I can get things edited when I need to. Uh, I may sit down also and write next week's uh, posts on Facebook um, today and get those done. I also need to go check the P.O. box, so that's a thing. Anyway, I am going to make sure I've got some water or something to drink. Maybe go grab some bone broth and get on my call because, yeah, I'll okay. be back. So I've been sitting up here listening to General Hospital on the iPad and sorting my uh, downstairs drawing bag, ephemera, the bag is up here. We're expecting company. Uh, so it's not downstairs clogging up space. Anyway, um, my ephemera did look like this. I'll put a picture here. Just exploding all over the place. I've tried a few different ways of sorting it and it just none of them work very well. 
Um, I have this makeup bag, which is from, I think it's from Walmart, to be honest. Um, it is by Modella. That's what it says on the zipper pulls. And um, I don't know if they still make one like it or not. I, I would bet the fabric is different because I've had this for a while. Um, but let me turn the camera around and I'll show you um, how I sorted it. I think this might work for me, but we'll see. When you open this bag and it has two zipper pulls, one here and then one up here, um, there's a zipper pocket here. And in here I have put cut pieces of scrapbooking paper um, which I use, uh, and, and um, origami paper, which I use on some of my little mini collages I do. This pocket, this came in here, is full of uh, magazine images. There's a few quotes. There's some little mini other random images in here. There's some lined paper, some envelope paper, tissue paper, that sort of ephemera, some printer images. There's one right here. You see the back side of it's a flower. This pocket is full of stickers, uh, lots of DIY printed stickers, but also some adhesive sticker, uh, sorry, adhesive scrapbooking paper and a few uh, purchased images. Um, and then here are some random stickers I just pulled out of a stick, couple of sticker packs I just acquired. I want to use these up and they're just randomly right here now tucked in the back. See if I'm trying to do this one-handed. Um, okay, and then this pocket is full of um, sticky note images. Uh, there's quite a few of them in here, and I like to use those in my little mini collages. So I just took a few off of each pad, and I used some uh, tape like this to stick them into some white cardstock, so that I have a little sort of file folder full of them. I can just pull one out off. I don't need the whole sticky pad of them. I just need a few. This is a little paper folder. Um, this is from a Crazy Island family swap and back in 2015. Um, I still have it. Anyway, I keep, I find I'm using the folder and I'm stuffing it full of um, tissue paper and random scraps that I want to use in my collages. And then I have a little mini clipboard with some of my word lists that I need to use up that I'm trying to use up this year. Got some washi tape. And then these are my little calendar date things. Uh, it's a little pad of mini calendar paper, each one for each day of the year. I got it on AliExpress. Um, next year, we are going to have something similar uh, in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. Uh, patrons over on Patreon and um, the YouTube community have access to one or both already. Um, so yeah, I find that it's really nice. You don't have to worry about stamping the page. It has a little paper with a positive affirmation word or art prompt word on it. And they're great to put on your little mini collages. Keep track of what you're doing. And so this all fits in here. And the most important thing is when I'm done, it the whole thing zips up and it fits nicely in my bag without spilling all over the place, which is a bonus. It was just messy and all over the place. And although I liked the accordion folder traveler's notebook thing that I made, and again, I'll put a picture here, um, it wasn't working, it was too messy and it was hard to pick up and move when we have company come over. So um, yeah, anyway. So, but this is working much better for me. Now I need to, um, I was very generously gifted a bunch of these uh, zebra mild liners for my birthday um, from one of the kids. And I need to, like, I'm five packs of them. So what I wanna do is pull out the colors that I don't have in my drawing bag and um, put them in the drawing bag and then put the extras over in my pen storage so because I don't need to have all these because I already have lots of pen lots of pens but there's some colors in here that aren't over there so morning I'll be everybody it's 8 21 a.m Thursday August 12th I only know that because I just looked at the clock I have a dentist appointment this morning and for those that don't know my dentist is about a mile mile and a half from my house so I'm gonna walk over there. 
I've got my one of my smaller bags on with my stuff in it I need. I've got water, mask. Um, it will be, it's not too bad right now, it's about 75, but it will be about 81 by the time I leave the don dentist office, so I'll be needing this later. Anyway, I'm gonna go get that done and then come back to the house and hang out with my sister. She's going to be using my kitchen to do some cooking for my dad. And uh, so she's working on that right now, pulling out different ingredients to see what I have that she can use and making a trip to the store for the things I'm out of or low on. So anyway, that's on the agenda today. Past that, have no idea. All right, let's get it done, shall we? Cross your fingers, I don't need any new crowns. I'll be back. Okay, sorry about the lawnmower in the background. We made it out of the dentist without any, but anything needing fixing. Yay! All right, I am headed home and we will see if my sister needs any help cooking. She's doing some baking for my dad before she drives up to his house. I think she's making cheesecake and I think she's making oatmeal raisin cookies, which are my dad's favorite, uh, to bring him some treats. I also need to dig a cooler out for her because she's gonna need a cooler to transport stuff to this house and all of that stuff. I also need to empty out the back of my car. So lots to do. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's a quarter to 11, 10.44 a.m. to be exact. Friday, August 13th, Friday the 13th. That sounds bad. Um, it's the day before my mother's um, celebration of life tomorrow which is tomorrow um my sister has left she was here for a couple of days um, borrowing my kitchen and staying the night and doing some cooking for my dad and she's headed up to his house right now uh my other sister and her daughter uh, are there already my brother i think flies into town tonight with his fiance and son so yeah, the whole family will be here. Bob and I toyed with the idea of staying at a hotel um, up near my dad. He is about an hour and a half, two hour drive away. Um, but I think we're gonna just drive to and from home. Um, the hotels are really expensive, number one, and there's not a lot of availability other than Motel 6, and I'm not a Motel 6 kind of girl, so. Yeah, anyway, I am spending some time doing some video editing while I have some peace and quiet, it's a good use of my time, I think, helps clear the mind because I've got to focus on what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, just a quiet day today. I'm gonna enjoy that. And then tomorrow, lots of driving and family time. And then Sunday, another quiet day. And then Monday, more driving and more family time. Yeah, I think by Tuesday, I'm gonna be exhausted. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's me. I know, this is my church regalia. When what? we're, yeah, this is my, I was raised a Roman Catholic, for those that don't know. Yes, and then we're going to mass this morning with my dad in honor of my mom. And then we're having a family memorial luncheon for her um, afterwards. And then some more stuff at dad's house after that. So it's a whole day thing. I, no, I'm not staying in this on high heels all day because my mother would not expect that. She'd be shocked I have them on now. Uh, I do have flip-flops and stretchy pants in the back of the car. Anyway, Bob's dressed up nice in his suit, which he does way more often than I ever get dressed up. I never, I don't put pantyhose on anymore, and I've got, I've got pan, I have pantyhose on. In 1,000 feet. Anyway, I was thinking it wasn't appropriate to film or vlog anything today, so I wasn't gonna bring any camera equipment or anything with me. And then people ask me, can you bring your camera equipment and stuff?
vlogged today and bonus I didn't have to break out any of the camera equipment which is a good thing because in my opinion it wasn't appropriate today anyway. In half a mile. But today was my mom's memorial and celebration of life and it's done. It's been a very long day. It's 10.01 p.m. and we're finally headed home. It will be a couple of hours for us to get home so we'll get home just before midnight and yeah it's been a long day. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week and you've had some fun and done something creative. Please check out the video description for any relevant links and ways to support the free content here on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups. Uh, including a tree li list of links with my other social media accounts, my Etsy store, my Patreon, and all of that stuff. I have weekly arty chats with the patrons and all of those things. So anyway, go out and have a great day, have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and life is way too short. And I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.